the plow guy here again today we're talking about bearing sleeves and hubs using some of the older john deere plows with the sleeve type bearing so this is a rear hub assembly off of a john deere 44 plow uh, it's similar to all those used in the trailer type plows as well as some of your older three-point hitch so there's no ball bearing or roller bearing in here at all i think some people assume that there's maybe timken tapered roller bearings inside there certainly isn't um, these plows are designed to go slow and have a lot of pressure in the bearing so they were designed such with old technology but but it worked it was a sleeve type bearing you had an inner and outer hub a sleeve that pinned right to the axle got a greasy nice greasy pin here keeps it from rusting that way but the pin simply drops down in the sleeve through the hole in the axle and it's retained in there there's nothing that holds it in there except that this hub is around it the pin can't slide out so you've got a simple design, you've got a sleeve, and you've got a flange. Now the reason for the flange is, obviously, to fit between the hubs and keep your wheel from falling off. And to, to take up wear, you have these shim washers that go on either side of this flange, like so. These shim washers here are designed to take up the play in your axle. So if you have a loose or sloppy axle, uh, a lot of times it can be attributed to these shims being worn out or thin. I've got new shims if you need them for most axles. Okay, another question I get is, oh, I think I need a new bearing. Well, this is a used part. This is a perfect usable bearing. You look at the surface, it's nice and, and round. There's no egg shaping going on that it would have worn. Because remember, this ba bearing is stationary. It doesn't turn. Your wheel turns on the bearing. So you're going, only going to have wear really on maybe 30 percent of the bearing surface where it's where you have your pressure constant but this bearing overall is in excellent excellent shape if you have a bearing that looks like this uh, you need not worry simply repack it with grease washers and reassemble however if you find a bearing that is like this oh that looks round doesn't it oh wait <laughs> looks like somebody here did not grease this axle for quite some time uh, this material is chilled gray iron, which if I drop it from waist height, I can break it on the ground on hard concrete because it's so brittle. But being it's so hard, it wears really well. So it took a lot of wear of use to wear this bearing down. Now with it worn like this, you might ask yourself, do I need to replace? You can. Most likely, this wear spot was on the bottom. You can, if you notice the holes on op uh, or 180 opposite, you could rotate this bearing 180 degrees and probably make it work. But if that doesn't help you sleep well at night, you may want to uh, simply give me a call and, and maybe change a bearing. Something else to look at as well, just looking on this, this uh, worn bearing sleeve, you notice the shoulders of this flange. This shoulder is nice and square. This one, however, is tapered and worn. And, you know, really, in all honesty, this should be replaced if you've got a tapered collar like that, or a flange, rather. Uh, here's one, a little surface rust. Doesn't hurt anything. Don't get afraid by a little surface rust. Uh, that can be cleaned up. But you notice it's starting to round on this flange. I would still run this collar, but uh, that's up to every individual whether they want to, uh, to continue to do that or not. Um, aside from that, the only other tip I have is when you go to take these, especially the rear wheel uh, hub assemblies apart, there's carriage bolts in there, and I apologize, I don't have any to illustrate, but they're 7 16 by inch and, inch and a quarter or inch and a half uh, carriage bolts. When you go to zip these off with your impact, a lot of times they'll start spinning because for whatever reason, these holes are too large for the shoulder on a 7 16 carriage bolt. So if you end up having to torch the bolts off, I recommend going back with a half inch carriage bolt in its place. Uh, the, the square part will fit the back, the back hub or the back flange rather uh, very snugly. You may have to dress it up with a file once in a while to make that work. Uh, but that's a little trick that I use. Uh, and hardware store carries your, your regular uh, bearing flange. So that's a little lesson on John Deere bearings and hubs.